Shalom, brothers and sisters from the 12 tribes of Israel. All praises to the Most High if you're watching this. I want to show a couple of my interactions with some of the people that I've for certain identified as being from the Dan tribe and a few of their manipulations and some of the devices that they're doing on social media and how it goes hand in hand with a few precepts that I pulled. But I want to go first into this comment that's on my on one of my videos uh, here by Bishop Juice. It says, uh, Judah and Dan have been mixing since reclassification to Negro. This very first line <laughs> speaks in volumes. So he knows about the reclassification to Negro. Okay, so it spoke, he's speaking in volumes with just those words. I'm going to continue. If the Indian is Dan and not Gad, I think you're off. Negro Indians and in Judah have thoroughly mixed. Records show only 300,000 to 380,000 POW slash slaves brought to North America as of 1860. Also in 1860, 3.9 million slaves were recorded in 1860. They ain't shipped 4 million Negroes to North America. Majority of Judah's slaves were men. Okay, What he actually tried to do in that little portion with the numbers is bring confusion. He tried to bring a whole lot of confusion to the table. We're going to go further. It says here, we are thoroughly mixed and many of our fathers are from Gad and many are from Judah. In your attempt to condemn camps, you're promoting division of the Negro North American Israelites. So he just spoke, he spoke in fire. He basically just told me that he's a Negro Indian. Okay. And has completely really kind of rejected everything that I've said about the, the, these Negro Indians being reclassified. But although many of them are still holding on to their knowledge of who they are and know exactly who they are. Because there's many of them. I'm going to go to my reply. Okay, Bishop Juice. Camps aren't unifying the people. That's division. We unify in a true understanding of the doctrine and scripture. Now what I just posted there was biblical. It comes from Ephesians, the book of Ephesians chapter 4. Um, where it says, till we all, here in verse number uh, 12, it says, For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of the Messiah till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of the Messiah, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even the Messiah. So basically what I posted is, in a, in, in a quick little um, sentence is Ephesians 4. We unify in a true understanding of the doctrine and scripture. Then I post, how can divisions be unity? Which is, how can these camps, which are dividing people, how is that unity? How is division unity? It isn't. We unify in the true knowledge as to exactly why these divisions are, are, have come about. And with cunning craftiness, these divisions, which claim to be gathering the people and unifying the people, are in no way unity. They're division. But I want to continue here. It says, Choctaws and Chickasaws know who they are. They are for certain, they, they for certain can't be Judah, who were brought to America in the slave trade. Gad was overcome by a troop. The same troop who conquered Gad were in league with the Choctaw Chickasaws who assisted in their overthrow. So it sounds like you're hiding the Dan tribe or have been deprived of some of the basics like the Lion's Wealth prophecy. Okay, so he's basically been, he's, he's hiding something. That's what it says to me that he has rejected the fact that there's an, that uh, Dan exists today and has been integrated with either Gad or Judah, which is what I continue to say that they're doing. They continue to, to try to hide themselves among the other tribes of people. So I want to go here again to the, my next comment. Or my next reply says, 
one thing for certain, Negro Indians aren't going to want to hear that they're the Danites. Just as much as Caucasians don't want to hear they're Edomites or from Esau. So that's, that's a fact. Which is one of the reasons why you won't find many, no one saying that they're from the Dan tribe. Nobody wants to hear that. Nobody wants to be identified as the people that were blotted out. No, the Edomites don't want to hear that they're the Edomites. Or from Esau. I've had met several of them tell me, I don't want you to tell, don't tell me who I am. And that's what they're, that's what he's doing. Is he don't, he's hide, he's continued to hide the Danites. Because they don't want to hear that they're the, from the tribe of Dan. The Choctaw and Chickasaw does not want to hear that they're Danites. But there's nothing that you can do against the truth. This is the, the for real truth about who they are biblically. They're not going to want to hear that. But the 12 tribes of Israel who in no way can profit from lying. You cannot profit from calling the Choctaw, Chickasaws, Gad or Judah. There's nothing profitable in lies for our people. Lies don't make it to the kingdom. So bringing these things out are for the edification of the people, not for division, because we're going to unify in the true knowledge and understanding which is being deprived by these camps. The exact knowledge that I'm bringing out is what they're hiding to keep us away from the truth. So I had to post this, and, and also I want, to, I want to prove that. Where it says here, um, I pulled this history before, it says neither the Choctaws nor Chickasaws ever engaged in war against the American people, but always stood as their faithful allies. This is in a book called uh, History of the Choctaw, Chickasaws, and Natchez Indians, 1899, by Horatio Cushman. Biblically, we're going to go to the to biblical, biblical. If they've always been in league with the American people, it's impossible for them to be Gad. Here in Genesis 49, 19 says, Gad, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. Choctaw and Chickasaws, uh, it says, neither the Choctaws nor Ch Chickasaws ever engaged in war against the American people, but always stood as their faithful allies. So are they Gad, a troop that was overcome? Absolutely not. They consented with the troop. They joined forces with the troop. History. Choctaw, Cherokee, Creek allies, Chickasaws are in here also. They joined forces with the troop. They are not Gad. We know for certain they're not Judah because they're indigenous to America and not brought here by slave ship. That's for certain. We know that. But they're being compared as the lion's whelp. Dan, he said of Dan, Dan is a lion's whelp. Being compared with Judah. Judah is a lion's whelp. It's not being compared with any other tribe but Judah. Reuben, here in verse number three, thou art my firstborn, my might, and the beginning of my strength, the excellency of dignity and the excellency of power. Now, can that be a nation of people who has always consented with the thief, who has been, who has never engaged in war against the American people? Is that possible for them to be his might and the beginning of his strength and the excellency of dignity? Absolutely not. That is, they've actually consented with the thief. What he is doing is continue to hide who is Dan, judging his people as one of the tribes of Israel. Dan shall be a serpent by the way and adder in the path that biteth his horse heels so that his rider shall fall backward. None of them are going to want to hear that. If you come from the 12 tribes of Israel, if you're calling these people anything other than Dan, then you err. We're going to get persecuted. We're going to get... But if you're solid in knowledge and solid in this truth that I'm speaking of and solid in the scriptures, there's nothing that they can do. We're going to see if he responds. I doubt if he responds because there's really nothing that you can say against that. There's definitely no unity and division. And there's definitely uh, people who know that they're Choctaw and Chickasaws who have always consented with the beast. So I want to go also to some of my another interaction. And one of the reasons, this is on my Instagram page. One of the reasons that the Israelite awakening has taken so long and why a lot of our people aren't waking up is because of what's going on on social media. These people are on social media twisting our scripture, twisting our words, twisting the Bible, using witchcraft and sorcery as well on social media. I've exposed these things on social media. I even bring out the truth about Dan on the social media. I've been doing this for years. I've been studying this for years. I've been watching them for years. I've even watched their devices and watched what it is that they do. This is one of them. I'm going to bring out one of these posts. Um... 
here it says uh, an a, a Israelite named New World Awakening, supposedly an Israelite from the 12 tribes, says, uh, so you keep, you going to keep worshiping the sun god Jesus on Sunday while ignoring the commandment of the seventh day Sabbath? Questions. He's questioned, but with this question, he gives you Drake, known Illuminati, Sodomite. He's known, he has spiritual wickedness inside of this man. There's spiritual wickedness inside of, De of this guy, Drake, which is why he uses him to continue our people in some of the brainwashes. There's witchcraft. Look at his hand. I added this arrow to it. Look at this wicked man with his hand. The satanic sign pointing directly at the image of the po of the photographer. You see his hand? That's a satanic in, uh, spirit invoking gesture with his hand. And we know about Drake. We know that he's a part of the agenda. And behind him, if you can tell a little bit, is a pyramid. It's like he's at the top of a pyramid. You'll see three different colors right here. It's an actual pyramid behind this man who has a, a spiritual devil in them. They're using images like this to promote the awakening, which is witchcraft. This is witchcraft that he's doing. They're, and I, I actually put this on there. I actually gave um, the explanation that why would, you, why would Israelites be using wickedness to promote the truth? Why would you be calling good evil and evil good? How is this good? What is this? have to do with worshiping the sun god on Sunday? What does this have to do with people ignoring the commandment of the seventh day Sabbath? Drake has nothing to do with what this, these words speak of. He is using witchcraft to do these things. These are the devices that they're doing on social media. This is just one example. Volumes, they, they do this in multitude, daily they do these things. Many of our people can't even understand it or even see it. They don't see that they're using Drake and his hands and this image of a, that's like the top point of a pyramid, which is right in the middle of his head. This is sorcery, witchcraft. They're using witchcraft to keep the knowledge of who we are, to keep our people in these spiritual wickedness, wicked things. This is just one of their devices. I'm going to go back and, use an, and give another example. I, I posted that uh, weeks ago. That, I mean, long time ago, I posted that. And people can't even understand that. And the majority of my pe the people that I've... Or follow and our, my followers on Instagram really are the Dan tribe. I found that out also that there's very many of them that are from the Dan tribe. On social media, that's one of their main um, sources of, of witchcraft and sorcery. Now this guy also exposed the same guy with the new world, the new world awakening. Okay, this is witchcraft. We I did a screenshot of a video that he had posted on Instagram. You see, we understand already the all-seeing eye symbolism. We understand the one-eyed symbolism and the sorcery behind some of these things, that it has absolutely nothing to do with righteousness. So this guy in the middle was the Jewish man who tells the truth about um, the real Hebrews being black people. Now, he put the video of the man telling the Israelites that the word black, the blacks in America, that we're the real descendants of the Jews. He put that video inside of the all-seeing eye. Straight witchcraft. Sorcery. This is straight, complete wickedness. They're promoting the truth using wickedness. And many of our people don't even see it or can't even comprehend these things. They don't know what's going on because, first of all, they don't understand that there's a, a manipulation coming out of the heads of the people. And not only that, they... They can't even see the witchcrafts that they're using and doing. This is just some of the their devices that they're doing to hide the truth from our people. So they don't want people to know that this fake Jew is telling the truth about the real Israelites. So the, what do they do? They put it in a video, spiritual wickedness with the eye. You have no knowledge of the who this eye is or who this guy is who probably has a, lot, a spiritual devil within him. Because it definitely looks like a Caucasian eye. So there's no... There's no profit in these things. This is one of the reasons why uh, the awakening is taking so long for our people and, and many of our people aren't waking up because you have Danites on the social media using witchcraft to keep these things from our people. And as I said, the Dan deception goes very deep. I want to go into my comment where I, I even tagged him. I have no problem tagging you in these things. 
It says he 